Hey guys, I am back with another video and today it's all about vanilla fragrances. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so before I get into this video, if you are a vanilla fanatic like myself, I did a vanilla video, a vanilla fragrance video a couple of years ago. I'll link it down below. And, and in that video, I talked about some other vanilla fragrances in my collection that I absolutely love. Check it out, it's some true gems in that video. But for this one, I have a total of eight products and some of them are a fragrance some of them are a mist some are a oil and they're from different price points so I kind of think that there's something for everybody in here so let me just go ahead and jump right into the first fragrance and that would be Tiffany by net and this is it let me tell you guys this fragrance is really nice well first off let me talk about the bottle it's very sleek very simplistic not complicated if you like fine lines and just um, bottles that are really simple uncomplicated to go on your vanity or wherever you house your fragrances this is spot on I got this for at Sephora and this is the 1.7 ounce. It retails for $120. It's categorized as a warm, sweet gourmand. And it does have vanilla in it. It has vanilla at the base. And it says that it has cardamom, magnolia, flower, and vanilla. Now, before I really deep dive into that, this particular brand claims that their fragrances will help improve your mindset, confidence, and really allow you to relax, okay? So, do I get that when I wear this particular fragrance? Yes, I do, you know, but... <laughs> That, that's relative okay I do I do feel better when I smell it I don't know if it's just uh, the fact that I like the fragrance or or what what it is but they say that it's scientifically supposed to help you with that and I would challenge every day uh, everybody the next time you're in Sephora walk by it and just kind of sm uh, smell it or put it on a card and see how you feel about it so it says that it's a creamy mineral with vanilla and a, a touch of matcha this fragrance has an addictive salty character to the main vanilla note that is enhanced with pink pepper upcycled turmeric root uh, luxurious auras and cedar wood um, and again it's scientifically backed to boost feelings of confidence and mindfulness so let me tell you if you are a person that just doesn't like those syrupy overly sweet vanillas this would be your jam also vanilla is there she's at the party but she's kind of hanging back she's like hanging standing up against the wall she's watching everybody just making sure that everybody behaves she's there but the people that are live and turning it up at the party are the cardamom and if you're not familiar with cardamom those are going to be the notes of camper lemon mint with a, a woody balsamic undertone that's what's going to jump at you immediately which when you spray it and of course you're going to get the matcha tea and all of that as it slowly starts to dry down and immediately in the dry down you're still going to get those top notes uh, but you're going to get more of the auras and again the the vanilla is there but she's just kind of there uh, making sure everything just everybody just kind of stays in line just that everybody <laughs> just doesn't do too much if that makes sense it's very unique it's very different if you like those type of matcha tea scents uh, mixed with a little bit of vanilla this might be something that you would love I particularly like uh, layering this with a very strong vanilla because I want more of that to come through I never thought of myself as just really liking those matcha tea auras and cardamom scents but they really play well together somehow and anytime I wear it I just love dousing myself with it this particular fragrance alone definitely not gonna be a crowd pleaser as far as the sillage and the projection it's okay it's nothing that's that's just gonna annoy anybody um, I would say that it's about so-so about medium but could this be a signature scent 
if you like again if you like those um balsamic matcha tea all of those if, the, if you like those scents with just a hint of vanilla this could definitely be a signature scent i love I, I gravitate to it it just smells really good and i like it a lot because it's something unique and anytime something different and unique is added to something you know i kind of I kind of like it. All right, so next up I have a body mist. And this body mist is by Urban Outfitters. Uh, very affordable. This retails for $28. This is Boulangerie Souffle Vanilla. And this is so divine. It retails for $28. And it says that it has notes of pear, rose, vanilla, caramel, and amber. And I think that that's a really good mix. It's very warm and inviting. It is sweet, but it, I feel as though it's not coyingly sweet. Mm, smells really good. So upon initial spray, you're going to get the vanilla and you're going to get the amber and you're going to get the rose. Um, it's just a little bit of rose. The rose, she's at the party, but she's kind of hanging back. She's there. Okay, you know she's there. She's got the flyest outfit there, but she's kind of hanging out at the back. But the vanilla and the amber, the pear, I smell a little bit of it. She's kind of like with the rose. She's back there with the rose. She's there. She's got the fly outfit on as well, but it's more of the vanilla and the amber. This would definitely be a crowd pleaser. Um, this has, to me, for it to be a body mist, it's very, it's got a lot of projection. It's very, it's it's very loud. And the reason that I say it would be a, a, a crowd pleaser because as you all know, you know, I've got uh, two kids, my son and my daughter and my husband. So I like to test my skincare, all my skincare on my husband. <laughs> I like to test the fragrances with my children. So if my son likes it, it's unique. You know, it's not, it's probably not gonna be a crowd pleaser, but if my daughter and my husband like it, it's going to be a crowd pleaser. They love this Immedi immediately when I sprayed it. That's like, oh, oh, and my daughter, she kept picking it up. So she's eyeballing it. So I'm probably going to have to pass this on to her. But it smells so good. And for twenty eight dollars, you know, a mist, you can just kind of just spray this on all over. If you carry a big bag throughout the day, if you need to freshen it up or if you want to layer it with something it would be really good for layering but for this to be like a mist i wonder if this has any oil in it yeah i don't see that it um, has any oil but yeah definitely and as far as the staying power um i would say about a couple hours it's nothing that's just gonna last all day it's a body mist if you want your fragrances to last a little bit longer you know put on some oil or sometimes i put on Vaseline if I'm gonna wear this and I know I want it to kind of stick around with me I put on some you know Vaseline as my moisturizer and I'll spray it You just kind of help it stick a little bit longer, but this is divine definitely affordable You would love this. All right So next up I have a fragrance and this is by La Mode Garmon and this is the cream vanille eau de parfum. I'm on the Ulta website This is vegan cruelty free clean ingredient. It says that it's a vanilla that's soft and comforting it's an amber gourmand. The top notes are creamy apricot. Middle notes are jasmine petals. The base notes are brown sugar and amber. And you get a lot of that. Upon initial spray, you do get a lot of apricot and the jasmine petals. And that sticks around a lot. It, it, it stick, You will smell that a lot. And then on the dry down, that's where you get that brown sugar and amber. I feel as though... On the dry down when I wear this, I get a lot of the amber. And as far as the top notes, they remain and they're there. They're not necessarily kind of hanging back, uh, but they're they're at the party, but they're in the mix. They're kind of like slightly in the mix, but they're not as much in the mix as the amber. This is really nice. Um, I would call this one a, a crowd pleaser. This is something that, you know, probably everybody's gonna love. It's great for layering. It does have a lot of projection. The longevity, I wouldn't say is, is all that, but it's doable, especially for the price. It's only $25. I feel as though this could be a signature scent. This is something that you could wear every day. It could be office appropriate. If you did wear it to the office, uh, I wouldn't say to, 
uh, don't be like me and just kind of douse yourself with it. One or two pumps would be perfect for the office. If you're going out somewhere else, then yeah, you could probably just kind of do the most. But this is a beautiful vanilla to try, especially for the price. All right, so next up, I have a fragrance by Kaali, and I think that every YouTuber probably has this fragrance. And if you like vanilla, you probably <laughs> might want to get it or probably try and uh, find a dupe. Probably could find a dupe if you look at that older video of mine. It's a lot of great uh, vanilla fragrances in there. But this retails, this is a 1.7 and the 1.7 bottle retails, retails for a hundred dollars um this is vegan cruelty free it's great for layering it says that it's unis unisex it is a warm and sweet gourmand so this particular fragrance has vanilla orchid tonka absolute amber woods so that right tells you that this is going to be like super heavy heavy vanilla okay so when i look on a different website it has vanilla orchid jasmine that is the top notes brown sugar and tonka bean as a middle note and as a base note it's got amber wood amber musk and patchouli now let, let me just tell you that vanilla orchid and the tonka bean and the brown sugar makes for this to be in my opinion really syrupy and that's upon initial spray but that patchouli and the amber and the amber wood just really balance everything out I mean, you can really smell it. It is definitely there. I like to layer these two. First, I'll spray, what do I spray first? I think I spray this one first. Just so anytime you're layering, I like to layer my heaviest fragrance and then I put my lighter fragrance on. And these two smell so, 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 so good. They work really well together. I think it's because of all of the amber and the amber wood and of course the vanilla. All of that just plays really well together. I do believe that this one is a crowd pleaser. I think that it could be a signature scent. I think that you could wear it to the office. Again, if you wear it to the office, maybe one or two pumps. If not, you, you're probably going to drown everybody out. This has got a lot of staying power. So much so, if you spray it on your clothes, you it's not gonna fade away you're gonna have to wash it out or you'll smell it days and days later if you have your clothes in the air hamper and when you go to wash your clothes and you you take that shirt out or whatever it's you're gonna smell it so yeah this one is divine and it's great for layering it's beautiful and I would say that if you have a fragrance especially if it's maybe um, if it's maybe even in a different scent family and you want to add just a little bit of vanilla or you just kind of want to turn it into something else, I would say to get something like this, something that's heavily vanilla, even syrupy, to just kind of turn it into something else and to balance it out. I know I'm probably not describing that right, but I'm thinking, you know, I'm just kind of thinking how I put these two together and how well they work. And I'm in the process of just kind of experimenting with other fragrances that I have with the vanilla just to see what it turns into. All right, so next up I have two uh, products and they go together. I have the Nest Madagascar Oil and the Nest Madagascar uh, Mist. They just came out with the mist and the oil. I'm sure you all have seen the oil around. Let's just talk about the mist for starters. And the mist retails for, this is 4.2 ounces and it retails for $39. It's cruelty free, it's considered a sweet gourmand, and it has Madagascar, vanilla bean, uh, vanilla orchid, and coconut. And I believe that the oil has the same uh, notes, the exact same notes. Let me just pull it up and see. Yeah, so here's the oil, and this is one ounce, retails for 102. So this is made without mineral oil, without phthalates, parabens, um, uh, sulfates. And in 2022, this was the Best Beauty Award winner. So yeah, it's got the same thing. It's got the same notes, Madagascar, vanilla, vanilla orchid, and coconut. All right, so let me just go ahead and I guess I'll hold them up both like this. <laughs> but what I can say about these, for me, these are coyingly sweet. So if you are a vanilla fan, but you just don't like that coyingly sweet, it's clearly sweet. You might not like this one. The oil um, 
what can I say? You're just gonna get straight up vanilla. It's got Madagascar vanilla. It's got the vanilla bean, the vanilla orchid. It's just got vanilla, 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 vanilla. <laughs> it's got vanilla, vanilla. Great for layering, okay? So you can definitely add this to something else and just make it, turn it into something beautiful and magnificent. Now what I can say about this mist is that it has bao bao oil in it and um, as you know, if it's got oil mixed in with a mist, it's just gonna have a little bit more staying power. Of course, these scents can be a signature scent. It smells so good. It's definitely a crowd pleaser. You're gonna get a lot of compliments just because you're, 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 you're smelling like a snack. It's, it's Armand. You just smell sweet, <laughs> sweet. So, but if you are uh, not a fan of the coyingly sweet fragrances, I would say to run from this one, but these two are big. This one's been a while for, this one's been around for a while. I'm not sure. Let me see if I can find out when this one was released, the oil, to see how long it's been around. Okay, well, not that long. This one was released in 2021, and this one's released uh, recently. So I'm thinking that since the oil did so well, the fragrance did so well, that they thought they would do a, uh, a mist. I'm not sure, but definitely really good. And you don't even like the... Mm, this just... This just smells so good. <laughs> Well, this is like straight up vanilla. There's no, there's nothing else kind of hot in the background that's at the party. She's there, but she's, you know, kind of hanging. No, everybody's vanilla. They're at the party. They're dancing. They're kicking up dust, just kind of having a good time. And that's just what this is. I love it. Love it. Um, I feel like you could do well with either one. You know, if you don't want to spend the the, the money for the oil, you can do just as good with the mints. All right, so next up I have a rollerball perfume and this is by Urban Outfitter. This retails for $26. This is Amber Vanille. And let's read the notes on this one. So this one has bergamot, almond flour, vanilla bourbon. I love vanilla bourbon. Vanilla bourbon is so good. Matter of fact, I had a vanilla bourbon in the video that I keep telling you all to go and watch <laughs> that I did a couple of years ago. Really great fragrance that you can get from Target, I think for like $20. Go check that video out. Okay, um, it also has amber, sandalwood, and musk. So this is a roller ball, okay. And initially, let me just throw it right there. Okay, so initially, Upon a first sniff, you're definitely going to get that bergamot and or, uh, almond flour. So if notes of bergamot just kind of turned you off, I'm not sure about this one. This is another one where the top notes, they still remain there a little bit, even on the dry down. They're there, but again, they're there at the party, but they're kind of hanging out. Okay, you know they're there, but they're just kind of hanging out. Um, upon the dry down is where you get that sandalwood and that bourbon vanilla, which is so good. And this is a oil and it's gonna have a lot of lasting power. This is one that I feel it could be a crowd pleaser. You could, um, it could be a signature scent. This, however, is not one that's just gonna be coyingly sweet. Um, it is sweet, but it's just not overly sweet. It's just not. I don't want to say sickening sweet because, you know, sickening sweet is good, right? It, I don't know, but it's just not going to be coyingly sweet. So if if that's what you're looking for, if you're looking for a vanilla that's not going to be coyingly sweet, you might want to try this one. Again, the price point is perfect, perfect, affordable. Well, at least I think it's affordable. And I think that Urban uh, Outfitters, you know how when you sign up for people's email list or whatever, they give you like 10 or 15, sometimes 20% off which will drop the price down even more, but this is definitely a gem. All right, last up, but definitely not least. <laughs> the reason I put this one last is because I just recently talked about this one in a favorites video, and this is Goddess by Furberry. So let's check it out. This is a 3.3 bottle. It retails for 168. It's warm, spicy scent, and it's a layerable scent. And, um, you know, scents to me that are pretty much, um, how do I put it, uh, the scent is uh, consistent across the board. Like for example, this has vanilla infusion, vanilla caviar, and vanilla absolute. Okay, so you get three different types of, let me see how another website 
categorizes this. So when you look on another website, it says the top notes are vanilla, lavender, cacao, and ginger. Um, the middle notes are vanilla caviar, and the uh, base notes are um, vanilla absolute. So upon initial spray, what are you gonna give with this? Very sweet. It's a very sweet fragrance. Um, it's it's borderline coyingly sweet. It does have a lot of sillage. It lasts a long time. I really do like to layer this one. And what is so appealing to me about this one is that note of ginger. I'm not sure if you're familiar with ginger, but I really love ginger. It's a a spicy, a very spicy, crisp note that they've added to this. One fragrance that I like to uh, layer with is the Marc Jacobs Ever So Sweet. These two are divine. This one um, is a crowd pleaser. This one is not. This one is more of a unique scent. And while we're here talking about Marc Jacobs Ever So Sweet, let me just tell you what the notes are. So the notes are mango, rose water, and cashmere wood. So again, you get that cashmere wood and the rose water to me are uh, what don't, those particular notes I feel as though don't make this a crowd pleaser, but somehow when you mix it in with the sweet vanilla, it just, it pushes the, the cashmere wood back and the rose water, they're there at the party. They're, it just kind of pushes it back and it, it just kind of provides a subtle base and the way that it mixes, it just smells so good. So yeah, I really like that mix with this one, but this could definitely be a signature scent. Great for office church, wherever, definitely a crowd pleaser. You can't go wrong. And again, the way that I test that out is with my family. If my, my daughter and my son, uh, excuse me, my daughter and my husband like it upon first sniff, it's crowd pleaser. Okay, if they're like, eh, yeah, ah, ooh, I don't know, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't think I like it. Whereas my son, he's more like me. He likes those uh, unique scents. He's more inclined to like the unique ones or or scents that you don't frequently smell a lot. So anyway definitely love this one. So that's it. Short and sweet. Those are all of my vanilla fragrances for 2024 that I've been loving. Let me know down in the comments if you've tried any of these and if you've tried them, let me know what you think. Also, let me know, are you a vanilla fan? Do you like those coyingly sweet vanillas or do you just kind of like the laid back vanillas? You know they're there. You know, they're, they're at the party, but they're just kind of hanging right back, leaning up against the wall, watching everybody dance. Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.